Hello everyone, my name is Pavel and today I would like to show you my cloud-enabled Commodore 64. Before we get started, let's take a look at my setup. What we have here is a stock Commodore 64 equipped with a Wi-Fi modem, MacBook Pro to drive the cloud side of the things, and then it is also connected to the Node MCU board, which is basically the same one that is on this Wi-Fi modem. I decided to go fully retro and load my app from a floppy disk using a 1541 disk drive. Let's get started. Let's load the application first. While it is loading, I will connect to my web application. Let's start the app and let's use C64 as the name of the client. It is now connecting to cloud. It takes about 10 seconds. Right, we should be now connected. Uh, let's send a message. Uh, we can see that the message was sent and was received by the web client. Let's send a message from the web client as well. It got to the Commodore 64, so we can now see that Commodore 64 has successfully connected to, with the web client over Azure. Let's try something more interesting. I will run an emulator and I uh, will try to connect two Commodores together. It's loaded in the emulator. Let's call it C64 Emu. Again, it will try to connect to Azure. It will take about five to 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we are connected from the emulator. Let's send a message from the emulator. And the message was received by both Commodore 64 and the web client. I also have this uh, iPhone client here, so let's call it iPhone. All right. Now let's send a message from iPhone. And hopefully, all clients will receive it. So now we can see Commodore 64 was able to communicate with iPhone. iPhone. And also iPhone received messages from Commodore 64. So that's pretty much it. Azure enabled Commodore 64. Probably not many practical uses these days, but it was a lot of fun to work on this project. If you are interested in more details, you can check my blog at blog.3d-logic.com and also the code will be available on my GitHub repo.